crocodile guards, a Nintendo Sony hybrid, and real life jetpacks. Just because you don't need to know about these stories doesn't mean they won't interest you. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and this is The Dispatch, where we give you three cool, funny, or weird news stories from the previous week of human existence. Get ready to blast off, y'all. Number three, jetpacking some serious heat. Jetpacks, real working jetpacks. There's been so much hope placed in hopeless attempts at the jetpack technology. What the f is that? Most of which are bulky, impractical, or not a true jetpack. And it starts right now. Oh. Sigh. <laughs> but now, the good people at Jetpack Aviation have created the most legit jetpack yet. It even stays loyal to those old movie depictions, strapping comfortably to your back without any extra ropes, pipes, or tethers. Jetpack Aviation's back blaster tops out at an average of 100 kilometers per hour, can climb at 150 to 300 meters per hour, and is nowhere close to being for sale to the public. Bummer, I know. But now that we have a working model, we have taken a huge step toward jetpacking to school or work. Come to think of it, that's a terrifying thought. Number two, Killer Crocs. Nope, not those. These. Highly secretive, powerful ambush predators. Indonesia is going straight medieval in order to prevent prison escapes. How medieval are they going? They're going crocodile-filled moat medieval. Indonesia's National Narcotics Agency chief, Buddy Waseso, pitched the idea of building a penitentiary guarded by the aforementioned ravenous reptiles. Why? In order to separate the drug kingpins from their drug traffickers in a separate jail. Wiseso said he would even personally travel across Indonesia to employ the most badass crocodiles to guard his prison. They are ambush hunters that prefer their prey to come to them. I think Wiseso describes the <clears throat> practicality of utilizing a crocodile hell moat best, saying, quote, You can't bribe crocodiles, so when they, the criminals, try to escape, they get eaten. It's not a human rights violation when a crocodile does the killing. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Number one, the Playtendo. It is what you think it is. It is the, how do you call it? The Nintendo PlayStation? Sleep yeah, PlayStation there's a couple the different of. things we call it. So many of us were stuck on either side of the Nintendo vs. Sony console showdown of the 90s, looking longingly across the gaming borders. Words can't describe the endless challenge of Super Mario World, so we let the players do the talking. Well, this next story goes out to us. Doesn't take much intelligence to play that game, does it? You should know. The news that has gamers thinking of what could have been this week is the official confirmation of the existence of the Nintendo PlayStation, also known as the Sony Playtendo, or Ninstation, or whatever combo name you prefer. But really, it's quite a surprise to see this hybrid console across the web, considering we now know about the bad blood between the two companies. Hey, plumber boy, mustache man, your worst nightmare has arrived. With an estimated 200 prototypes currently in existence, the console is a rare piece of gaming history. 0.95, it was, it almost made right. it, right? Yeah, it's not my version one. Just imagine, you touch some fuzzy and get weird on Yoshi's Island. <laughs> Then head right over to the Woompa Islands to kick some evil scientist's butt with your buddy Crash. It's unfortunate that the unit ceased production after the 200 prototypes were built, but we still have it on our unrealistic Christmas wish list here at Watch Mojo. So, what do you think? Should crocodiles guard more prisons? It's feast or famine for the crocodiles. For your weekly dispatch of offbeat news stories and top 10 lists published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. He's motor. Look at him go. Woo! You little beauty.